Hello and welcome! My name is Jessica Jem, and today I'm digitally painting a poster for a Star Wars Dungeons & Dragons campaign from last year. Come, join the art side! I started the sketch with Darth Jar Jar, who the DM voiced, so I used it as his representation. It was neat figuring out his shapes. I didn't realize how weird he looked because it's been quite a while since I've seen the movies. Next is Animus Visar, played by the same person who plays Volpez in our regular campaigns. She has no eyes and a metal left arm and leg. Then I add Liz Farron, made by Shadows Player. They're some sort of lizard race, and they paunch stuff. Like, that was the whole character concept. And we loved it. Up next is Yukaru, a 19-year-old fighting fanatic with social issues. He was from a person I haven't played with, but is in another group from Celestia. His hands become the bane of my existence later. My character now, Watal Imat, an Australian-coded short king spider guy. I really wish I remembered all their proper races. As you can see, the hat took a bit to get down and the fiddling continues later. For him, I wanted to do a crossbow blaster because I think they're neat. After I got the sketches down, I did some arranging for the composition and cropped it to be more poster shaped, as that was my main concept for this piece. And of course, flipping to make sure everything was nice and balanced. I was originally going to use line art, but then I did it. I started painting Jar Jar just to see, and ended up digitally painting the whole thing. It just looked so cool that I had to. Wrinkles were pretty weird to do, but I think it looks quite good. I don't have a ton of digital painting experience, so this was fairly out of my comfort zone, but it was really fun to do. I started by blocking out my colors under the sketch, and adding the darkest folds to separate the volumes I had drawn. Then I hid the sketch when I was rendering each area. I was especially proud of how Liz came out. Probably because she has scales and fabric, so it's a bit easier for even a beginner digital painter like me to pull off. I remember having a lot of fun with her horns and the sharp edges on her face. Watching this back as I'm writing this is really making me want to paint again. A bit of her personality. She was a kind but rather unintelligent lady following her friend Animus on their journey. She was always happy to punch someone if given permission, never overly concerned about why. She was a ton of fun to have around, and I'm glad I got to adventure with her. Animus is next up. I started with her face, since that was the part I was least looking forward to. I have quite a bit of trouble with faces in this way of working, and it definitely shows. Even without eyes, it took me quite a while to get it right especially the nose. Man, I am not great with noses. I had to totally re-sketch the face to get a better idea of what I needed to do, and eventually got it to a place I was happy with. The hair was a welcome break, and was a much more enjoyable process. I think it ended up looking a little bit clay-like, but I'm okay with that. Her personality is a little cautious, but still friendly, curious about the galaxy around her and all it has to offer. She was skilled with the Force and a capable fighter. I did a pretty terrible hand at first, but I fixed that later, don't worry. And you. No, not you. You, the character. He is very blue. Blue you. As you can see, I learned from Animus and started the face by doing that extra sketch. It still wasn't perfect, but definitely helped a lot. It was quite fun doing his hair too. It's also my favorite color, so I have a bias to it. Now the arms and puffy sleeves. I move on for now, but I do come back to these a little bit later. First, I did some adjustments to him, and then... The hands. I clearly express my dislike as I begin attempting to construct these monstrosities. Holding a lightsaber, double-handed, kind of in front and to the side like this. Yikes, why did I do this to myself? Anyways, Yu was pretty quiet, stealth was a preference of his, and he was pretty good with a lightsaber. 
Unfortunately, this character died to help us escape, and the player made another, Oliver. But I went with you for this piece since he was his starting character. Plus, I had beef with the other character and tried to throw him off a ship. Long story. My man was tall. Locked out, main parts, you get the gist. Just like Liz's scale, it was cool to do the little exoskeleton plates on him. The fluff was also fun to texture on his little sideburn beard and mandibles. I think that's what they're called. Anyways, next I redid his hat, again, because it was still on the wrong angle. I had to play around with it a bit so I could have the bottom of his glasses showing, but his head still tilted down. And I think I got it in the end. Wutal is a short king at around four and a half feet, and he's a little rougher on the edges. He did fairly well as a team player, but also was a little annoyed by their antics. I was going for that kind of gruff, lone wolf forced to be in the group of rowdy characters trope. He was quite good with his bowcaster, and even though he got pretty banged up, he made it all the way to the end. And I fix it a hand! Looks so much better, oh my goodness. And now, Porgs. Yes, Porgs. We found them in the cargo hold of a ship that we... borrowed. Liz and Animus kept a little male and named him Knuckle, and Watal kept a little female that he named Rat. She scrim, Knuckle sit as floof. Porgs. Lightsaber time! And yep, turns out Animus was a Sith, and Darth Jar Jar was her mentor. Couldn't be more in character for the player. I also added this third yellow lightsaber, it's not really coming from anywhere, I just needed it for composition and lighting. And here I start adding some shadows and lighting as usual. I struggle the most with the blue light, but I think it ends up okay. And I had an absolute blast with the detail highlights. In this piece, I tried not to be too precious and just move things when needed, even if I had worked on them a bit. This was all from a mini campaign run over four weeks in the March of 2022 where we started at level 5 and leveled up at the end of each session. The story takes place during the Clone Wars and Order 66, and it was run by the DM who made Celestia. It's good for a bit of a shorter campaign watch if you're interested. Links below. I took the piece into a different program and did a bunch more lighting, and then turned it into a movie poster by adding the Star Wars style font and some credits for our lovely actors and DM. I used the characters' names, and I didn't forget Knuckle and Rat either. I'm still quite proud of this one, as one of the few digital paintings I've done that actually look pretty good. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed. Farewell! A wonderful day, have you? I'm so sorry.